guys welcome back to another top shelf tuesday i know a lot of people liked this background so yeah it's what we're using because i was honestly just set up here so yeah it's a little bit easier for me anyways we're going to talk about the makeup that i used this week and i didn't use a lot so some of it that i thought i was going to use is rolled over to next top shelf tuesday so i hope i use that then but we're just gonna talk about the things that I did use. I did a lot of really light looks this week. It's still summertime. What is that? It's, I don't know. It, but it still is summertime, excuse me. And I just am not in the mood for these like heavy looks and like doing big eyes and stuff like that. I'm just, I'm not feeling it right now. Like it has been like upper 90s and that gets pretty hot for the area, the region that I live in. All right, so we're just going to chat about everything, so let's roll in. Okay, so what do I wanna talk about first? I realized this week that I had a lot of Pacifica products. I didn't purposely do that somehow. It just kinda, it's not like, I don't really plan this too much. Like, it's not like a contrived thing. It's more like, okay, I need a foundation, I need a concealer, and I try and find things that are like in my own makeup that I have not talked about before i'm starting to run low on some of that stuff but yeah for the most part i try and make it very much like stuff i haven't talked about before in a top shelf tuesday all right so let's talk about the foundation that i use so and the one that i'm wearing today so i feel like this is the root this is their pearl powder mineral foundation in c1 i believe this is 18 dollars. great price point and i think they have 45 shades of this so i definitely i need another shade and i in the winter this was my shade now i feel like i'm getting a little bit more of a neutral to yellow undertone to me and that's weird because i've always been like this shade so yeah it just i i know i know i look a little bit geishy and like really white in the face i'm well aware um, but I did use this and it wasn't it's not such a bad thing that people were like oh my gosh like it's pretty close it's just not it's not close enough for me and because they have 45 shades I feel like I could find something that's a little close for my skin tone one thing that I really like about this foundation price point shade range which I've mentioned and one thing that's cool I can't do it with this shade I needed actually darker shade to do this um is that you can wet it a little bit and you can make it into a liquid foundation so I thought that was kind of cool. I've tried it with this. It was just like real white. And like, if you're really pale, I feel like this C1 would work for you because I'm pretty dang pale, but this is even too light for me. And whenever you wet it, it becomes like two shades lighter. So yeah, but decent price point, good things going for it. I also wanted to add this on. This is a brush I think everyone, uh, not everyone, but everyone who likes these mineral foundations should have. And it's the Bare Mineral is their beautiful finish brush. So I got this when I was working at Ulta. Love it. I like I don't really use the Bare Minerals foundation that I got with it because I don't I like this more. Um, so I I'd used this previously before in the winter. But anyways. I really like this brush and it's made for these foundation because something that people don't know is what you're supposed to do is pour the foundation into the lid and then you're supposed to warm it up like this and this brush is meant to hold the foundation it's a little it rises a little bit and then there's an indent to hold this in the center and then warm it up and then you rub it on your face and it's kind of like a powder to cream foundation that's why I this looks like it has this stain on it that's not powdery powdery it's more like a cream stain that's why because every time i would use this that it self heats and then or it doesn't self heats it heats with my hands and then i would use it on my face and it's not super creamy by any means but it's just it goes on with a creamy finish rather than a powder finish so i would recommend this i think it's pricey but if you're gonna be using it's an investment if you use these powder foundations so this is i think this holds true for anything that's supposed to be a powder foundation get this brush all right so the concealers i used two different concealers this week one was the fit glow beauty conceal plus i really like this concealer i think it's really good um i always put i like these little fit glow packages they're kind of like little drawers um it's a good concealer guys like straight out um it's pretty full coverage 
I wore it a couple days even without powder to set it and I didn't have super crazy gnarly creasing. I wore it with two different foundations. So today I'm wearing it with a root one this week because I did have this pulled out from last week. I did wear it a little bit with the vapor foundation a couple of days. I really did like, like it, it laid well with both foundations. So liquid and the cream to powder kind. So it's expensive. They don't have any, I did a whole video about this, a first impression. This is kind of my follow up. I like it. I think it has good, it definitely, um, looking at it at the mirror right now. I have a mirror right there. Mm. I'd say it's like medium fullish coverage, guys. This is a really light shade though. I have shade C1 and I feel like I would need a different shade because I only use this under my eyes and for highlighting. So I would need a different shade to cover up blemishes just because it's such a light shade that it's more, again, more highlighting than it is color correcting. So I need a different shade. Again, bad parts about it, only five shades. And I don't remember how much it was. It definitely, Fit Glow is not a drugstore price point, but I hope that they extend their range just because it's a good product. And I think a lot of people would love this and benefit from using it. So yeah. All right, another product that I used this week that honestly, okay, so this is the Pacifica. This is their Transcendent Concentrated uh, Correcting Concealer. This is okay. It's not my favorite. I did the Clove and Hallow concealer last week. I think they're comparable in consistency and everything. Um, but I feel like they're almost the same price point. I think the Clove and Hallow one's 18 to $20. This one's like 15. Clove and Hallow has more color range, just a better product. I know that the, the Clove and Hallow one does have some dimethicone in it, but I can get over that for the, just this, I didn't like it that much. It dried out pretty fast, like the whole, the concealer, in general and then there's not that many shade ranges there's like i think cloven hell has 12 at least so i yeah this is just this is not i wouldn't repurchase that and it's gonna go in the empties because i can just get rid of that now i didn't like it that much there's not much to say besides i didn't like it and there's better things out there there's never even better pacifica things out there okay the blush that i used this week that i was really impressed by because i haven't used a ton of their products is the gressa their Luminaire, their Lum, Lumiere, it's their Luminous Complexion Fluid. It was really nice. So the way that you use this is you pump it on the back of your hand and then, well, the, I mean, you can do what you want, right? But I use this, I would pump it on the back of my hand and then I'd go, no, 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 no. I didn't do one of those cutesy videos this week for this look, I just didn't have time. So I really like this product. I think it's a really glowy color. I'm just going to do a little watch so you spray it out not a ton sprays out which is actually a good thing just because it's like you know it's a pretty red color but anyways so that's so it comes out red and then you think like oh my gosh I'm gonna look like Rudolph but in the cheeks no so when you blend this out it becomes this really glossy hydrating red color so it looks like it went away I don't know why it looks like that on the back of my hands because I feel like you can definitely see it on my cheeks but I did do I did cover it twice so I did two coats so I did everything once with the stippling brush and then I did everything again with the stippling brush just to bring the pigment out a little bit more because it's not super pigmented it's a lot more dewy I feel like this is a great product for someone who likes no makeup makeup looks for sure and I'd be interested to see how it pairs with their foundation so yeah we'll keep that in the files I did like that product I was pretty impressed with it I also would use it on my lips on the lazy days where I was like okay I just want to do like foundation blush mascara then I would take the blush and like put it on my lips as well so yeah <laughs> so I don't mean to rag on Pacifica guys because I really do like a lot of their products just this week I used some that I did not like from them and this probably why probably why you'll understand this was in the clearance bin at uh Sprout so I picked it up this is their golden lotus highlighting powder this is like orange so I I had no idea because it, again it was in the clearance so this is like this is what I'm gonna swatch it like blends in with my skin and then on my cheekbones it, it has like it's just a powder like I don't see any sparkle or iridescent shade uh, now it's showing a little bit but yeah on my face it would just it would look like a bronzer gone wrong for someone really pale like myself so 
maybe this works for someone. I think maybe if you have a deeper skin tone, this might work. I don't know. Like I just, I, there are just better highlighters out there, guys. There's a reason this was in the clearance bin. Okay, and then something I think a lot of people are wondering about, I think I'm gonna do a couple, maybe another video comparing the two, but I have the original Lily Lolo mascara that's in my drawer, and then I also have their new Big Lash mascara. I'm gonna get in real close. Look at that. That is one coat. That's it. I didn't even double dip. Like I just took it out, used it on both eyes. Look at how much volume. Look at that. Like, I'm really impressed with this, guys. The wand of this is shaped like an hourglass. It's nice. Like, it's a nice mascara. I ordered this all the way from London. I waited like three weeks for it. And then Safe and Sheet got it. And I was like, why the hell did I order it all the way from London? I was still waiting for it by the time I would have gotten one from Safe and Chic. But whatever, I wanted to be one of the first to try. But it's a really good mascara. I'm really impressed by it. Could, could potentially become one of my faves. I wasn't having any fallout onto my cheekbones, which I experienced. I actually have pretty high cheekbones. So I can, I can tell you that. Like there was none of that. I don't have any smearing with it. It's pretty voluptuous and I appreciate it. Okay, let's talk about some Pacifica products that I like because I do have some that I like. Um, these were the Plushes uh, Liquid Mineral Lipsticks and I'll do a swatch on my arm. So I have two different shades. This pinky one is probably my favorite. It is the shade Breathless and then the deeper shade is Flawless. Anyway, so what I like about these, they don't dry down, which I like. And some people won't like that. So be aware, be mindful of that. Um, I don't like those liquid lips that dry down and dry up my lips. I hate it. I hate that feeling. It's almost worse to me than having something that's too tacky. So these I like because they do dry down a bit. They just take a while to, um, and I'm just watching them kind of dry down right now. They're very, very, the pigment's pretty good on these. Um, the price is pretty good on these as well. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I have to say. I think the wearability is good. Breathless works really well for me just for day to day. Um, and they feel nice on the lips, like because they don't dry down, that's why I like them. Again, some people won't, but I, again, pigmentation, spot on. Something, this looks like it's empty because I've liked it so much. It's not, it's empty because I used it like 10 times, probably. I've used this 10 to 12 times. It's the Juice Beauty, it's their lip gloss in sheer lip gloss in bikini. I got this as a GWP. And it looks like, oh, Reagan's obsessed with that because she's used it to empty. No, like I only got it. I didn't get that many uses in it. They didn't put that much product in this GWP. I don't love this. I did wear it a lot this week because I had it out on the counter, but I'll just put it on now. It has this like gritty stuff in it that tastes weird because let's be real, like a little bit of this is getting into your mouth, right? So it just tastes weird. I don't like it. Don't like the scent. Don't like the flavor. Don't like the product. It, I don't like how it feels. Yeah, just wouldn't recommend that. There's better lip glosses out there. Honestly, just invest in the Fit Glow Lip Serums. They're really, really good. Like I would recommend that. Last but definitely not least, I use this Ilia lipstick. I got this in the Ilia Beauty Box. I'm going to do a little swatch of this. I was wearing it on my lips, but I just coated them with that Juice Beauty stuff. So this is in the shade These Days. So it's this really nice peachy shade. I'm trying to get in close for you guys. It's just really, really nice. So it looks really nice with my skin tone. And yeah, it has, it's not, I wouldn't say it's totally transparent, but it's not really opaque. It's like a nice mid coverage for a lipstick. So yeah, so you have room for correction on it. You know what I mean? Like, cause sometimes like if you use something that's really opaque and you have it all over your lips, if you miss a spot, it looks patchy. This, it doesn't because it's nice and creamy, pretty long lasting, um, nice pigmentation. So good job, uh, Ilya. That was, that's a, that's a pretty color. And I think that'll be good for fall as well. Alrighty guys, so I'm gonna peace out. I'm gonna go eat some grub. Um, tell me if you've tried any of these things down below. I'm just curious, especially with some of the ones that I didn't like as much, just because, yeah, there were some duds this week. So I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day or evening wherever you are in the world.